We really weren't sure if we were going to see any major content updates come to Black Ops 4 this week outside of the weekly item refresh in the black market. And even there, we weren't entirely sure if the refresh was going to bring any new items. But to our surprise, the black market got a huge update today, bringing a ton of new content to the game. What's going on guys, Zachary Immortal here, welcome back to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Today we're jumping back into the world of Call of Duty Black Ops 4 to take a look at the brand new black market update and everything that it brought to the game. For starters, and most noticeably, we've got a brand new event going on for the next 27 days called the Barbarians event which features 25 tiers including some face paints, outfits, calling cards, gestures, and most importantly, the new Cap 45 DLC pistol which is unlocked at tier 25 or the final tier of the Barbarians event. The Barbarians event is also free to all players similar to the Halloween and Holiday events, meaning that everyone can access all this content for free right now. Keep in mind though, you can purchase tiers to unlock the Cap 45 and all of the other items immediately, or you can simply play the game and unlock tiers for free via the daily tier skip as well as just naturally acquiring tier progression through playing. So honestly, it will just take a little bit of grinding, but you'll have yourself a new free DLC weapon if you aren't someone who wants to buy some tiers, but the option stands for either side there. Alongside the new Barbarians event, we also finally received the new Vampire Hunter Vapor Mastercraft variant, which was originally teased back in the Operation Absolute Zero trailer. The Vampire Hunter is now available in Blackjack Shop for 1,000 COD points as a bundle which features the Bleeding War Paint, the Demon Skull Sticker, the Werewolf Tag, the Moonlight Showdown Calling Card, and of course the actual Vampire Hunter Vapor XKG variant, which I have to say looks really, really good. Keep in mind this is a Mastercraft variant so it is only available for the Vapor unlike the reactive camos which are available universally so you can only use this on the Vapor but nonetheless like I said it's a really good looking camo. It should also be noted that the Vampire Hunter bundle is actually 500 COD points cheaper than the Valkyrie Paladin bundle which was also teased in the Operation Absolute Zero trailer. Granted, the Valkyrie bundle also featured a specialist outfit, whereas the Vampire Hunter bundle does not. Also coming to the black market with our weekly refresh is the Usini or Usini outfit for zero, I'm probably mispronouncing that either way, as well as the Cherry Blossom weapon camo and the Flaming Skull war paint. And then over in the Special Orders tab, we've got the Cypher Reactive Camo Bundle, as well as the Horned Viper Firebreak Outfit Bundle. That appears to be everything that the Black Market got updated with, but this little mini update also changed the featured playlist category in the main menu to now feature Chaos Domination, Mercenary Capture Mosh Pit, Team Tactical Mosh Pit, Mercenary Deathmatch Mosh Pit, and Mercenary Hardcore Mosh Pit. And on top of that, it appears that Madagascar and Elevation have now officially been added into the regular rotation in both Core and Hardcore, which is something that the community has been asking for for a little while now. But keep in mind, if you do own the Black Ops Pass and have these two DLC maps installed, your matchmaking is now going to be a little restricted per usual when having DLC installed on your console. If you do want to fix that and open up your matchmaking to everyone who does not own the Black Ops Pass or these DLC maps, you'll have to actually delete Black Ops 4 from your console and re-download the full game without the DLC maps installed in order to actually free up your matchmaking experience. With that being said, that appears to be everything that changed with this new Black Ops 4 mini update. Obviously, the black market was the prime target this week, and that means next week, presumably on Tuesday, January 29th, the 1.12 update will be going live on PlayStation 4, bringing League play to the game as well as mastery camos in Blackout and Zombies, and most likely a few other updates as well. That does effectively wrap up this video. If you guys enjoyed, feel free to give it a big thumbs up and slap that like button as it would be much appreciated. And if you guys are brand new here to the channel and you want to stay up to date with all of the latest Call of Duty Black Ops 4 news and intel, make sure to subscribe with your channel notifications turned on. That way you'll never miss another upload. Once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.